YouTube, this is Canadian, and this is going to be my first official unboxing on my channel. And the first subject, as you can tell, is going to be the Apple TV. Second generation, the 2010 model. And as you can see, I've already broken the plastic off, no biggie. Just uh, kind of did a primary look into the box to see that everything was there, so I wouldn't have any surprises in this video. See the art on the back here. Rent and instantly watch, yada yada yada. The remote, TV, some stuff on it, Apple logo everywhere, Wi Fi, HDMI, and the device, and the legal mumbo jumbo. Okay, first things first, really cool box. Slides right off. Little shell there for the off in the background. Okay, and we got the device. Say hello. Okay, first thing here, we'll knock it out of here. Set that up to the side for a moment, and you can tell, took a bit of care in the packaging of this. It's all wrapped in plastic, and you can tell here there are no ports or anything available. You can see the indentations because what they've done is they've wrapped it in a layer of plastic, that clear plastic here, and underneath that is another layer of plastic that surrounds the entirety of the device. There's that first layer. A little bit more legal mumbo jumbo, I can imagine. And then the device itself. Okay, so convenient little pull tab. And my first official fingerprints on this gigantic hockey puck. Big electrical tape strip there, basically. And we have the device laden with fingerprints already. Okay, on the front, you can't see it, but there's a indicator light and an infrared receiver. And on the back is what we're looking for. Power, HDMI, the micro USB, Toslink optical out, and the Ethernet connection, which is really cool. Bottom of the box here, more legal mumbo jumbo and a giant apple. So there's that. You can tell I'm excited. My hands are sweating. This is cool. Okay. Next. Stuffed in the box diagonally because it's the only way it'll fit is the remote. And dang, this thing's heavy. Very solidly built. This is something you can tell they've put a little bit of care into. Battery cover back there. See, same pull strip you'll find on all the new Apple things. And it comes out like that. No plastic off to the side. And wow, shiny aluminum looks like it's a MacBook. Ironically, this thing's probably thicker than a MacBook Air. Buttons, buttons, more buttons. Nice, a clicky feeling. Kind of a cool looking little infrared window there. There you go. As I tap to focus on the iPod I'm filming with. Set this off to the side here. And in the box. Hello. Cardboard thing. What I think is cool. This little guy here. Looks all retro. It's about the coolest looking power cord I think I've seen for any new device just about ever no generic squared off ends that you see on uh, you know your fluorescent lamps or desk lamps or anything something very unique something you won't miss or mess up on the uh, on the power strip when you plug this in you'll know which one the uh, ITV is as opposed to the big fat PlayStation 1 or the generic looking one for the TV etc yeah, that off to the side as well. Okay, and in the bottom, the minuscule manual, and I can only imagine that somewhere in here have got to be the arbitrary Apple stickers. Ah! And I was not wrong. Ta-da! Put those back in the box for safekeeping for now. I'll stick them on my car later. Apple TV manual. Very tiny. I don't think this is actually the manual. It's more like just the... EPA stuff. 
yes. Some specifications and country contact information. This, there you go, that's the manual startup guide. The setup, pardon me, setup guide. Welcome to, welcome, you're watching Apple TV. Very nice. Contents, connect, do, do, do. All the stuff that's uh, for your information. And that's basically it. You can see these PDFs online if you want to take a closer look at the manual as it is. But all told, the Apple TV there, the remote, power. And so this will be the first part of the review for this device. This is just going to be the unboxing, of course. The full review can come later when I either get another HDMI cable or just probably swap out the Xbox for now. But that's it. The Apple TV unboxed. Don't need to unwrap that. You can you can guess what that looks like unwrapped. But uh, I think the uh, coup de gras here is the awesome remote. Very weighty. Feels like it's uh, about the same technology went in to make this as they do the new laptops milled from a single piece of aluminum. It just feels completely solid. It doesn't feel like there's an actual anything in here. It just looks like they glued buttons onto a slab of aluminum. Very awesome. And that'll be my phone saying I've got an email. And so that is it. Apple TV. Enjoy.